help her up. That, that, that was a, that's a great anointing I see on her. They're coming straight from the ER. She was actually vomiting in the parking lot. Forgive me for wording it that so, right. so bluntly, but, but she had an ulcer. Wait, wait, wait. You were in the hospital? Yeah. Like today? Today. Yeah. I was what, what, what brought you here? Um, my friend Devin and Emily invited me, <laughs> and they told me it was a good experience to come and try. Are you saved? Uh, not quite yet. <laughs> well, we, we're going to fix that tonight. Uh, who's, who's with her? Her boyfriend came with her. Come here, boyfriend. I think you need that more than she does, brother. Come here. Stand right here. How are you, kiddo? I'm doing well. What is your name? Ray. Ray. Now, this is your girlfriend. You're okay, but she, she wasn't okay today. So you were at the ER for? Um, I have a, well, they think it's a bleeding ulcer. Um, it comes on and off. Normally, I take really good care of it, but for the past week, um, I couldn't get out of bed, uh, throwing up, couldn't eat, still can't eat. But um, as soon as I got here, I literally, the pain just disappeared, and it was burning. Like, I could feel the outer, I could feel my stomach burning, pretty much. And I, When did you feel it burning? Um, it was burning pretty much uh, after I started throwing up, and I came in here. And um, as You were throwing up outside? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was throwing up outside. And the Lord healed you now? You feel better? That's the first time in days that I feel like I can walk around without feeling kind of like hopeless, throwing up <laughs> constantly, um, drinking something and keeping it down. Um, I have hopes of eating now, <laughs> so that makes me happy. <laughs> well, we'll give you something to eat tonight, too. And this is your, your friend, and you guys don't know the Lord well he does but you're not totally there yet you're not saved like born again okay how about you did you give your life to the Lord yet well he's in already now I want to tell you something both of you and let God lead you Jim there um, the love of Jesus what's your name Jessica. Jessica that's my daughter's name yeah it's a very good name. The love of God is so amazing. And what's your name? Ray. Right. Guys, the love of Jesus is so great that it fulfills every part of you. And once you experience it, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Because when I was young, shh, hush, heavenly. When I was young, Someone once told me, you know, Jesus loves you. I had no clue what he, he was saying. Today, I have a much better understanding because I know the Bible, but most because I've been a Christian a long time now. Without Jesus, Jessica, life has no meaning. Like zero meaning, you know, because people use you, people abuse you. Friends come and tell you how they care for you. Nobody really cares. Very few people really care in life. Even family members, they come and they go, you know. There's only one person that is always there. And it's not your mom or dad. And not your brothers or sisters. Not even your boyfriend. Only the Lord. And to know the Lord is a daily experience. Mm -hmm. It's not like meeting a historical Jesus and that's about it. No, no, no. It's like a daily walk where he makes life worth living. And when you fall, he picks you back up. When you're hurting, he heals the pain. Mm -hmm. It's really a real precious life. So when you give your life to the Lord, it's not about a religious prayer that says, mm -hmm come into my heart and then thank you for giving me the assurance to get to heaven and now I'm going to just go and enjoy myself and whatever. No, no. The Christian life, guys, is the most exciting life you can have if you know how to live it. Mm -hmm. And knowing how to live it means you have to come out of the world. That's the thing people don't want to do because in the Bible it says come out from among them 
and be a separate, says the Lord, then I will receive you. And then I'll be a father to you. Well, it's, it's not possible to know God if you're surrounded by uh, the world. Because God doesn't want the world around you. So are you ready to commit yourself to the Lord today and begin your life anew? Okay. Shh. And I know you've given your life to the Lord, but it's good to rededicate. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't you join hands, both of you, and, and just uh, pray this after me. Close your eyes, Jessica. Just say both of you, dear Lord Jesus, I know you love me, and I thank you. And I thank you for dying for me on a cross. And I thank you for shedding your blood for my salvation. And right now, I give you my life. I surrender. I want to know you, really know you. I want to walk with you. I want to know your love and your power. So right now, I give you my life. Come into my heart. Live your life in me. Wonderful Jesus, you are my Savior forever. Amen. Now say amen. Now you guys, I'm glad the Lord healed you. I'm glad the Lord has touched you. I want you all to stretch your hands towards them and pray in the Spirit. Our Lord, right now, let that healing and owning flow through Jessica. Here it is. Bring her closer. Closer here. You felt it go through you? What did you feel? I don't know. I felt like tingly. It's the power of God. Tingly. I like that. She felt tingly. <laughs> Bring the girl up here again. A little closer. I don't want her head touching the... You feel a little wheezy? Yeah. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. Look at him looking at her. <laughs> Can I pray for you too? Come here, kiddo. Our Lord touches life. Touches future. Bless his life. Minister to him. Let him know your reality. Let him know your love. In Jesus' name. That is a beautiful experience she's having. That's a beautiful experience she's having. Our Lord, she's yours. And she'll never suffer again with that problem in her body. Never again. I claim her for the kingdom of God. I claim her for the Lord Jesus Christ. And I claim her forever to belong to Jesus. Cleanse her. Purify her. And protect her. You said, these that thou hast given unto me, I have lost none. She's yours completely yours. Uh, just step aside a minute. Lord, uh -uh, not you boys. You, you stay close. Lord, close. This close. Thank you. Lord, Make your presence so rich and so real now to her. Let her really experience you. Not just your power, not just that beautiful tingle she felt. More than that, your reality. Yeah. Pick her up. 
Did you feel that? Huh? I don't want to cry. You, you can cry, it's all right. What did you feel was beautiful? <laughs> can't even talk. Can you describe it? Have you ever experienced such love? No. You know what God was doing when, when you were on the floor? He was hugging you. Huh? I felt that. <laughs> ah. You see, some people, Jessica, belong to him, and some don't. And those that belong to him know it. And those that don't have no clue. And you belong to him. You know, I read a scripture earlier. I didn't know I was reading it. My sheep hear my voice. And no man can pluck them out of my hands. You're one of them, girl. Not many can say that. They think they are his, but they're not. Because it's all talk. It's empty talk. When you're his, you know it. So I have, I have a good word to tell you. For sure, I'll see you in heaven. <laughs> Somebody say, praise the Lord. Now you can give the Lord a mighty hand. Come on, saints. What I just did, well, only those of you in the spirit will understand. Thank you.